Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy and the latest stock market news updates. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, the S&P 500, which is a fantastic stock market benchmark, recently hit a new record high. So this is great news for investors. But that's not all. Because we're also going to talk about some macroeconomic news, which was not ideal, but that did not stop the general stock market from going higher. And here's what I mean. Key inflation data actually came in hotter than expected. And this is interesting because the Federal Reserve right now is contemplating whether or not they will raise or cut interest rates, or at least hold them steady. The reason why this is important and how this will impact the general stock market is because when the Federal Reserve lowers interest rates, and it's honestly only a matter of time before they do that, this will act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market, thus pushing stocks higher. But despite this macroeconomic news regarding key inflation data, the S&P 500 is up around 1.2%, the Nasdaq is up around 1.5%, while the Dow Jones is up around 0.6%. So again, this is great news for investors. In the meantime, investors are going to digest the Consumer Price Index report, which was recently released. And investors try to use this data to predict future Federal Reserve policy in regards to interest rates. The Federal Reserve essentially wants to be sure that inflation is easing before they decide to lower interest rates, because by them hiring interest rates, or at least keeping them steady, this is meant to lower inflation. In my personal opinion, it's only a matter of time before the Fed will decide to lower interest rates sometime this year. And once that news comes, comes in, it will act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market, so investors should be looking forward to this. Meanwhile, in cryptocurrency news, you should know that Bitcoin reached a new record high by going above $72,000 per BTC. So this is a very exciting news, however, I do have a problem with this, and it's when bullish investors who are very positive on Bitcoin are predicting that it could surge as high as $350,000 per BTC this year. The reason why this is a problem is because I don't like when some investors try to overhype an asset. We need to be realistic in our projections, and there are already projections between $100,000 and $150,000 per Bitcoin this year, and I think those are already bullish enough. Overall, I am very excited on this particular asset, and I personally do hold Bitcoin in my personal portfolio, but I only have around a 5% allocation to this particular asset. Speaking about Bitcoin, many companies have been buying Bitcoin hand over fist over the last few years and even in the last few months. Let's start off talking about MicroStrategy, which is a company that many people hold in their personal portfolios. And here's why. MicroStrategy is a software company that is led by a Bitcoin maximalist, according to this article, who bought 12,000 Bitcoins for $821 million. MicroStrategy literally holds more Bitcoin than any other public company, according to this article, to where they view it as a proxy investment, to where right now they hold over $14 billion worth of BTC. However, it seems that MicroStrategy is not the only company that is hoarding Bitcoin right now. We also see Elon Musk's Tesla and SpaceX also bringing in massive profits from their investment into Bitcoin. For some background, apparently, the crypto wallets of Elon Musk's companies, which would include Tesla and SpaceX, have apparently been found by Arkham Intelligence. As the story goes, Arkham cross-referenced financial reports with on-chain activity to locate these massive wallets. Wallets. Tesla, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in energy storage, energy generation, and artificial intelligence, which is led by none other than Elon Musk, currently holds around 11,500 BTC across 68 addresses. Meanwhile, SpaceX, which is another company that is led by Elon Musk, currently holds around 8,300 tokens across 28 wallets. That means Tesla and SpaceX combined have a total of around 19,800 bitcoins. Based upon the new record high of Bitcoin of over $72,000, these tokens would be worth around $1.4 billion in total. SpaceX specifically has around $276 million worth of profit 
based on their initial investment, while Tesla has nearly $500 million worth of gains from their cryptocurrency investment. However, I'm sure people over at Tesla may be kicking themselves, considering that they sold nearly 30,000 Bitcoins back in June of 2022. But overall, this was still a wise investment for Tesla and SpaceX, so I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about whether or not you personally hold the cryptocurrencies in your wallets. Next up, let's talk about an intriguing story regarding insurance providers that are traded on the public stock market, as well as vehicle manufacturers which are also publicly traded. And here's what I mean. Recently, a New York Times article reported that some car manufacturers share driver's data with third parties as well as insurance companies. And the worst part is that this is sometimes done without the driver's knowledge. This has actually prompted some concerns about the privacy issues in the auto industry. According to this source, there are various vehicle manufacturers, including the likes of General Motors, Honda, Kia, and Hyundai, which allow their drivers with internet-connected vehicles to opt into various programs that monitor their driving. This data is then collected and then sent over to third parties and insurance companies to potentially quote-unquote give people cheaper rates, but actually the opposite has happened. Due to this, some drivers found that their insurance rates have actually doubled in price. But it gets even worse, because there are accounts of drivers which did not opt into this program to where these vehicle manufacturers were selling their data to third parties. This data is accumulated by these vehicle manufacturers and then it is sold to data brokers, such as LexisNexis. Then, these third party data brokers like LexisNexis then sell that information to people's insurance providers. And this is why people's insurance rates have actually increased even if they were not opted into this particular program, so I wanted you to be aware of this. This news could also negatively impact various companies which are traded on the public stock market, such as General Motors, ticker symbol GM, and that's why you need to be aware of this story. We also have a summary and some news updates regarding our last news video, starting off with Reddit. Reddit is a social media company that is trying to go public right now, and they are targeting a valuation of $6.5 billion, and they are also looking to raise approximately $750 million for their upcoming IPO. You should also be aware that Elon Musk is suing OpenAI to force the company to create open source artificial intelligence technology. On top of that, Elon Musk even said that his XAI company will actually release the code for their chatbot named Grok, and he's going to make that open source and open to the public later this week. Lastly, you should be aware that Airbnb, which is a company I personally hold in my portfolio, which is really giving a lot of good competition to hotels, is banning indoor security cameras in all of their listings. So you don't have to worry about if you are being watched. For context, Airbnb operates a platform where various hosts can rent out their spaces to people who want to stay anywhere from, let's say, one night to even a few weeks. And this is really giving hotels a run for their money because there are some nice Airbnbs for a relatively cheap price point. But now let's jump over to do some in-depth stock analysis on various companies, and the one we're going to start off talking about is Boeing and United Airlines. For context, Boeing is an aircraft manufacturer, and United Airlines is clearly in airline stock. So let's talk about this story and why they are in today's news update. Recently, United Airlines, ticker symbol UAL, which I personally hold in my portfolio, asked Boeing, ticker symbol BA, which I also hold in my portfolio, to stop building their 737 MAX 10 jets. Instead, United Airline wants to switch back to the MAX 9 plane instead of the MAX 10. The problem here is that United Airlines previously ordered around 277 orders of the MAX 10 from Boeing. Boeing, with an option to buy 200 more planes, but instead now they want the MAX 9. The reason why United Airlines is pulling back from the MAX 10 and they want the MAX 9 is because there are some problems with the MAX 10 in regards to them getting a certification. The chief executive of United Airlines even said, and I quote, it's impossible to say when the MAX 10 is going to get certified, end quote. Now you should be aware that the MAX 10 will most likely get their certification sometime this year, however it seems that United Airlines has already made up their minds. They really want to switch back to the longer plane, which is actually the MAX 9. However, if you recall in a previous news update, we talked about how a MAX 9, during a mid-air flight, their door plug blew off, which caused a gaping hole in the cabin. So this was very bad publicity,
tragedy for Boeing, and it seems that we are going to see a lot of other hit pieces and conspiracy theories about this company as time goes on. But again, I'm just taking advantage of this. The more I can buy this company under $185, the better in my opinion. But again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Oracle, which has had an absolutely fantastic day. Oracle, ticker symbol ORCL, is a cloud giant, and they recently brought in very strong quarterly results. Investors are being very optimistic right now because the cloud software giant recently reported fiscal third quarter results that were better than expected. But the better news in my opinion is that this company signed a number of large cloud contracts which were spurred by the recent AI demand that we have been experiencing throughout the market. This optimism was so great that Daniel Ives, which is a very well-respected Wedbush securities analyst, had to say the following about this development, and I quote, The most important number in our view for the street and cloud sector is $80 billion of RPO. That blew away Wall Street expectations on the shoulders of robust cloud demand as AI demand is driving cloud growth across its business. He goes on to say, the company also cited at least 40 new AI bookings that are over a billion dollars. He also goes on to mention, as AI demand is driving further data center buildouts, AI is accelerating cloud demand and this remains at the epicenter of our AI revolution thesis, end quote. So this is extremely good news for Oracle, and that's why their ORCL shares jumped by more than 12% as of midday trading. You should also be aware that Oracle has an existing partnership with NVIDIA, which is designed to boost AI adoption in enterprises. On top of that, Oracle also hinted at an expansion of this collaboration with the GPU giant, which refers to NVIDIA. And in regards to NVIDIA news, if you didn't see last video, let me remind you that NVIDIA is slated to host their annual annual GTC event on March 18th, which could act as a positive catalyst for the company's share price. However, we do have some negative stock news in regards to Tyson Foods, who is set to close their Iowa pork plant and lay off 1,200 workers. I personally do not hold Tyson Foods in my portfolio, ticker symbol TSN, however, I do know that many investors seem to like this company. Tyson Foods recently reported that they will permanently be closing their pork plant in Perry, Iowa, and this means that they will have to eliminate around 1,200 jobs. The reason why Tyson is closing this plant is because slower demand for their products. And we've also seen this over the past year, considering that they have closed six U.S. chicken plants. However, my heart goes out to the people who are being laid off, because we have seen Tyson lay off a plethora of corporate employees and now another 1,200 employees over in Iowa. The mayor even commented by saying, it's a big blowout to the community. It's our largest employer in the area. It's going to be tough to figure out what to do with them, end quote. So it seems that Tyson is not doing very good right now, but honestly, Tyson is going to survive. They are a massive company, and honestly, I am more concerned about the people who are being laid off, and I really hope that they can land new and better jobs. Next up, let's talk about Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, which is a company that I've been holding in my portfolio for quite a while now, and so far, it's paid off handsomely. Super Microcomputer recently got great news from an analyst who added them to their new long ideas log, and this has pushed their share price up 7% more along with a few other things. Right now, it seems that companies like NVIDIA, Supermicro, and a few others are being pushed higher and higher in their share price, which does mean that a pullback is imminent for these companies. But in the meantime, feel free to trade off of this volatility. For context, Supermicro Computer has grown their revenues by 42% year over year over the past two years, which is quite impressive. And now, they are accelerating even higher in their share price and their revenue growth rates because of unprecedented AI demand. If you didn't know, Super Super Microcomputer provides a data center infrastructure, and since we have seen a large wave of AI momentum, these AI machines are going to need this infrastructure. The analyst even had to say the following, and I quote, Super Micro's biggest power up is its close collaboration with NVIDIA, specifically to build AI GPU based servers. He goes on to say, Super Microcomputer has been much more efficient than its peers by focusing on the next steps of engineering, executing on its customization approach, and by having a major time to market advantage. But here's the best part in my opinion. In regards to their fundamentals, Super Micro's earnings per share, apparently, according to this article, will hit $35 for fiscal year 2025, and that will surge up to $58 per share for fiscal year 2027. That's why this author believes that this company's shares could increase by 25% this year and 45% over the next two years. 
This is amazing news. So much so that Wall Street analysts have a buy rating on this company, while Seeking Alpha analysts have a hold rating. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, we have a Microsoft, which recently declared a 75 cent dividend, which is great news. Microsoft is a gigantic technology company, and they recently declared 75 cents per share that you hold every single quarter for shareholders. This dividend will be payable on June 13th for shareholders of record on May 16th, with the X dividend date being May 15th. So again, this is pretty positive news, and I'm very excited about this because I own loads of MSFT stock. Now let's round out the video talking about the latest stories that you need to be aware of. We already talked about Oracle's partnership with NVIDIA and their very strong quarter three results. But that's not the only good news we have. We also have ticker symbol BILI jumping by 6% in the respected share price. This is because JP Morgan upgraded this company from a underweight rating up to a neutral rating, and they also raised their price target up to $11 per share. So this is pretty positive. However, that's where the good news ends, because now we have to talk about the biggest losers that you need to be aware of. Starting off our list, we have Acadia Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol ACAD, and they recently experienced a 17% decline in their share price after announcing a late stage study of one of their pharmaceuticals. Essentially, this pharmaceutical was set to treat negative symptoms in regards to schizophrenia, however, it did not meet expectations. Next up, we have Veil vale Resorts, ticker symbol MTN, whose shares plunged by 6% after a less than impressive earnings result. After that, you need to be aware that Southwest Airlines recently dropped by 7% in their share price, ticker symbol LUV. Essentially, this company is caught up in Boeing drama because they recently revealed the potential issues with their Boeing aircraft deliveries. Therefore, this could lead to a reduction in full year 2024 capacity plans, and thus their share price plummeted. Lastly, we have American Airlines, ticker symbol AAL, whose shares dropped by around 4%. The reason for this negativity is because they have recently revised their projections for quarter one of 2024 in regards to their earnings forecast, and this was because of rising fuel costs. So with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.